Hello, I'm Dr. Harper. Uh, this video is in Supply Chain Analytics Inventory Homework Excel tutorial, and this is stochastic demand. So let's bring up a, qu a homework question. So here we have stochastic demand homework question in inventory. Uh, I list the uh, summary of the stochastic demand equations. Uh, and question, assume the lead time is 1.5 weeks, the inventory period is 4.6 weeks, the stockout level is 10%. Consider the inventory policy based on a normally distributed weekly demand data uh, given by the weeks here, the weekly demand data. Uh, note, use sample variance. Uh, complete each statement. Okay, here we go. Well, first, let's uh, let's bring up Excel and uh, let's uh, expand this a little bit so we can uh, use the whole and page here. Let's bring this down. Okay, first of all, let's set this up. This is stochastic demand. Let's justify that. Okay, uh, now then, the um, for the uh, the demand here, let's take uh, let's take the demand first. Well, let's take all of this. Control C uh, to copy it. Let's bring our Excel back, and then let's come over here and say paste it. There we go. Make sure it's numerical, and there it is. And I tell you what, let's do. Um, let's finish down a little bit. Let's just uh, make this a, a column vector. Just transpose it. There we go. So there we go. Just just to make this a little easier to uh, deal with, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, now right here we want the mean equals m. And the variance equals uh, v. That's going to be the sample variance. Okay, so let's do this. The mean simply is the average of all these numbers. Did I get them all? Nope, I didn't. Um, let's do this again. There's 10 of them. There we go. Uh, and then the variance is the variance dot s. It went the sample variance of all of them. There we go. And so let's let's start with that. Let's make this a little larger. And let's right justify this because it's going to equal that. Uh, very good. Uh, so there's there's our beginning. Okay now. Uh, let's bring this down a little bit, and then we want to, uh, yeah, the lead time. Okay, so over here, uh, under stochastic demand, let's say our, let's make this larger, let's say our, our demand mean, which is M, uh, that's going to equal the 450, and there it is. Okay, and then the demand variance equal V equal, and that's simply going to equal the 1320. And there we go. Very good. Now let's bring this, now let's bring the other uh, information down. The lead time LT, uh, and that's going to equal one and a half, 1.5 weeks. And then the uh, inventory period that's equal to t equals 4.6 weeks. It's all in weeks, so I'll just I won't really worry about the uh, units because it's all in weeks. Uh, the stockout level, stockout level is um, uh, is 10 percent, 0.1. There we go, 10%. And uh, and then over here is our, our demand. Very good. Let's uh, take away those boxes. Very good. So there it is. 
Okay, now then, uh, over here we can say um, the first thing we want to do is get our z value. Uh, that equals the normal standard inverse of 1 minus our stock out level, which would be our service level. And this is approximately 1.282, and there it is again. Okay, now then, we come down here, and let's use uh, the reorder point is approximately. Hmm, okay, well, our reorder point is given ROP equals is given, let's take this out of the way, is given up here. There it is. Um, ROP is given by that right there, by that equation. So let's just use the equation since we have it. Bring this back. ROP is going to equal uh, the mean times the lead time plus the Z times well, it's going to be the variance, but let's bring the variance under the square root and say the square root of the variance times the lead time. Okay, and so there's, there's our equation. So let's just do it. It's going to equal the mean times the lead time plus the z value. I can't get to it. I'll do this. Mm. No, no, plus, there it is, that's the z value, c8, uh, and then I want to times the square root of uh, the uh, variance times the lead time. There we go. And so we have seven, approximately 732. And so that's one of the questions. ROP. The lot size. Oh, well, the lot size is given right there. The lot size equals Q equals the mean times uh, equal, yeah, mean times T. Okay. Well, that's going to equal the mean, which is right there, times Q, I mean times T, which is 4.6. That's 20, 2000, uh, 2070. Very good. And then the last thing, uh, well, the next thing is the base stock level is approximately, well, there's a base stock level there. So we'll put that equation in, okay? The base stock level will equal T plus LT lead time, times the mean, plus Z times, again, we have this, the, the standard deviation, but we'll take the square root of that, as Q, square root of the variance, of the variance times, parenthesis, T plus LT. There we go. And we want that to, oh, want that to be equal to make this bigger so we can see the whole thing. There we go. And write justify all of these because we're almost there. Okay, uh, so let's just do all of this. And here we go. Here we go. Okay. So, open parenthesis, T plus LT. T plus LT. Whoops. Messed up. This is 4.6, is it? Messed up. Yep, 4.6. Okay, let's do this again. T equals T plus LT. T plus LT. There we go. Uh, times M. Times M. There we go plus the Z, right there, all right, uh, times uh, the square root of V, the variance, which is this, 
times t plus lt. t plus lt. There we go. And it's approximately 2860. Okay. So now we can take all of these and actually answer our question. Questions here. Okay. So let's just uh, bring these down over here. Bring this over here. Let's kind of set this up. We can just copy it over. There we go. The rotor point is approximately uh, 732. Uh, the uh, lot size is 2070. The stockout level is approximately uh, 2860. Okay. Uh, the safety stock is approximately, oh, we didn't calculate the safety stock separately, didn't we? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I need to do that. Uh, well, the safety stock up here, uh, let's see here. That's the safety stock right there. Okay, and so the safety stock, we'll put it over here. Safety stock will equal the uh, Z times the square root of a V times LT. And so the um, safety stock is for the continuous review equals. So we'll do that right here. Equals the Z, there's the Z right there times the square root of V variance times the LT, which is this, uh, in parentheses, and it's approximately 57. Here we go. Approximately 57. Bring, get this out of the way. And um, so uh, there's, all, there's all the answers. And so uh, it's just uh, applying the equations. Just, that's all it is, just applying. We, we did the derivations, we did the description, development. We got the equations, just apply the equations, just plug and crank. But that's how you do it in Excel, OK? So this is uh, all I have for the Excel tutorial, stochastic demand. So uh, see you next time. Between now and the next time I see you, though, uh, be safe and take care.